coming real, it's the next episode. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Rockstar the Villain here. And today, I'm here to show y'all my DPS final measure build that a lot of people have been asking me about. If you want to see this build in action, I will have a link in the description for my previous video I posted a couple days ago. And if, like I said, you want to watch it, watch it. I recommend it. It's, it's a good build. Pretty sure after I show you this build, you're probably going to try it out so you can see what I'm talking about. But, um... There will be future clips coming up in my future videos of me using this build. But it's just a build guide and a build video about what I made and why I made it this way. But um, yeah, let's get straight to it. <clears throat> you see I'm rocking a decent amount of firearms. You could go AK firearms, but I feel like that's a little bit too much. But hey, that's your preference. You keep going. If you want more, you can go 9K if you want to. Now that's overboard, but... I prefer seven decent amount of stamina 5,872 stamina which is pretty great absolutely I'm playing with a healer and um, a d3 for stamina buff so obviously I'm gonna be a little bit more tanky than what I expected no skill haste I believe all my mods are crit chance yeah crit chance everything this is supposed to be crit chance but EDR is there so I guess it works in the favor because most of this whole build is made out of EDR for Preds, um, EDR on chest piece, EDR on mass, health, health, and bleed resist. I believe bleed resist on my knee pads. Yeah, so 50% more bleed resist would actually stop the Predator more ticking the bleed from ticking as much. So it only will last me for at least like, probably like three seconds, probably, you know, which is good enough for me to get off the bleed. Holster, reload speed. I love reload speed. I love to reload back and get back into a fight. Well, you could put anything you want there. You could put skill haze, crit chance. Crit chance would be better if you want to put this build because you do a little bit more damage. But your preference, you choose what you choose. I like reload speed. I like to get back into a fight and just keep it going. Crit chance, you know, crit damage, SMG damage on my gloves. The house is my primary weapon in this build. <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure that's everybody's build. <laughs> House is just too OP to actually put down. It's really the best SMG. But um, other than that, yeah, my house got responsive. Hurry, like I said, I love to reload back and get back into a fight fast. So hurry works in my favor. But you can put whatever you want here. You can put unforgiving, vicious, you know, whatever talents that you have. You can't be greedy on the houses. Houses barely drop. I have a lot of them, but, you know, they barely drop, like, in my opinion, they haven't dropped a lot for me, but the mods I got, since the house is only for crit chance, I've spec it into all the crit hit damage, which I think that's the best thing to do, because it's lacking on crit damage, so you might as well spec into crit damage, and this is the second gun that everybody asks me about, why I use the ACR, I like to try out new guns. I personally am tired of the M4. It's played out. It's been played out. And personally, ACR is better than the M4. Because it hits harder. It's 10 times more stable. Which, no striker needed here. <laughs> 10 times more stable. I can actually shoot it in the background. I'll shoot it and I'll let y'all see why I like it. It's stable as hell. As you see, I'm not really moving as much. It's stable gun. It sounds good. Decent amount of rate of fire. You know? And it's harder. That's pretty stable to me. M4, I can use the M4. I just get, like, it's, like I said, the gun is too played out. It's overused. It's boring. You no know? no hate on the M4. It got me a lot of kills. But sometimes time to move on. <laughs> You know, but the mods on this, you know, like I got crit damage, believe it, crit damage, crit damage, crit chance. This is supposed to be crit damage, but since on my mast, I took off crit damage, well, I put off crit chance, and I put EDR there, so I actually put this scope to remake for the loss of crit chance that I have. Um, let's see, 22.50 crit chance on the AR, like I said, it could be lower. 
and it'll boost my crit hit damage up higher. But like I said, since the lack of crit chance I got on my mask, I'd rather just, you know, put it on my scope. Same thing as the house. The house, the same thing. 41, pretty good. 98% crit hit damage, which is great. It works in my favor. So, EDR, let's go check out my EDR. Now, I could probably have a decent amount of more EDR, but I got crit chance mods replacing it. But 64% EDR is not bad. It's not bad at all. It's actually good for sticky bombs. I see sticky bombs is kind of making a very big comeback, especially towards shield builds. But, you know, if you sticky bomb me, I probably wouldn't die. So, with this build, this is a good build to try out. I recommend this build if you're playing with two final measures, which is you have to be one yourself. A healer, reclaimer, which is a healer, and a shield bill, so you get the stamina buff, and you get the buff from getting grenades. I feel like once you get both of those buffs activated, it's it's war time. It, it does its favor, it does its job, it's great, it's fun to play with. And I feel like this is a good bill, very un underrated. Everybody relies on the prayer, everybody want to go to Nomad. Like I said, those bills is fun. Obviously, I got those bills here too, but... When I actually get on, I play with this build because I play in a team. And this build is only effective if you're only going rogue. So people that don't go rogue, don't want to be DZ police, I don't think this build or this setup is going to be worth your time. But it's only good for people that like to go rogue because you all you got to do is find like a nice area to just sit there and station and have the reclaimer and you're, you're golden. Two final measures, they keep spamming grenades, you keep getting those buffs. They keep shooting that shield, you're getting that stamina buff, and you got the reclaimer just healing you. It works in his favor. But this is the build that I've been playing with. Normally I rock like an EMP, but it's whatever. But this is a build I've been playing with lately. Um, my favorite build in 1.8.3. It's very underrated, like I said, and it, it could be meta. It very could be meta. Hey, just... Have fun in this update. We know Division 2 is right around the corner. And just hang in there. It's going to be here sooner than you think. But other than that, it's your boy, Rockstar the Villain. I'll catch you on my next video. Peace. Yes,